Oh, goodness. Oh. Hi, Facebook. It's Elena. I'm here at a Walmart a fuel station about to preach. It's been a while, but I'm pumped up and ready to go. So let's get this on the road. I got a wireless mic now, so no more wire to get in the way. So let's do this. Testing. I hope this works. <laughs> I hope this mic works. Hello. Hello. Testing, testing. Oh, testing. Hello. Testing. This will just have to do, Facebook. <laughs> okay.
look what's happened today in the world. They have legalized sin. They have legalized gay marriage. And marriage is from God. It is between a man and a woman. It is not between Adam and Steve. There is only Adam and Eve were, were made in the image of God. And we inherited their sinful nature when they sinned against God. But I come today not preaching that, but preaching that the only way to be saved is to trust in Jesus. He died on the Roman cross. He died for your sins. He died for you so that you may live. God wishes no one to perish, but everyone to come to repentance and knowledge of Jesus Christ. You know, some people today say, yeah, I believe in Jesus. I believe he died. Well, you know what? Even demons believe Jesus died. They believe that he is, he is the king of the universe. They believe that God sent his only begotten son into the world to save the world. But the difference is, is that they don't trust him, trust him as their Lord and Savior. You must submit to Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You must repent of your sins. Repent that you are a sinner, a sinner in need of a Savior. Salvation is this. It's acknowledging your sin before God, saying, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Have mercy on me, God. I know there's no way for me to be saved apart from the cross of Calvary. I'm going to read from John today, the Gospel of John. John is a beautiful Gospel. John says this, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, all things were made through Him, and without Him, was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only God who is at the Father's side. He has made him known. What is this saying? God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses to give to Israel, God's chosen people. But the Gentiles are coming to come to Jesus. He's accepted them as well. The law shows that we are sinful. It shows that we can't measure up to God's law. People all over the world, even today, in other religions, are trying to earn salvation by doing good works, by upholding the law of God. But that is impossible. Isaiah says that your good works are like filthy rags to God. Don't you know that all of sin is fall short of the Lord? But only God, through Jesus Christ, who came and died on the cross for your sins. He came and died, and he was buried, but God raised him from the dead three days later. What must I do to be saved? They asked Peter in Acts, they said, what must I do? What can we do? We've tried so hard to follow the law of God but we are still wretched and miserable and naked in our sins. I tell you, it is by faith for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever so believes in him shall not perish but come to everlasting life. It is by faith through grace, by grace through faith that we are saved, not in ourselves, lest any man should boast. If you are trying to earn salvation today by doing good works, you are dead in your sins and trespasses. You have put Jesus and his cross to shame. You cannot earn salvation. It is a free gift of God. He chooses who he will say he draws you near. We don't understand that, but God is sovereign. God is sovereign, and I believe every 
every word of the Bible. He did not come to call the self-righteous. He came to call sinners to repentance. The enemy is at work today trying to keep you from hearing these words of truth. But Jesus said God's word will never return void. The word is life. And Jesus said whom the Son sets free is free indeed. You are either a slave to sin or a slave to righteousness. You are either of your father the devil or you are a born again child of God. You will know them by their fruits. A good tree cannot produce bad fruit and a bad tree cannot produce good fruit. So by your their fruits, you will know them. John says, the true light which gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world. And the world was made through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who are born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. transgressions 
He was crushed for all our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And with his wounds, we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him, Jesus, the iniquity of us all. Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him. God had a plan since the beginning of beginnings that he would send Jesus Christ into this world to die for the sins of men and women. We are all guilty before God. because I care about everyone here. I don't want anyone to die in their sins and go to hell. Hell is a real place. It is as real as heaven. It is real as Jesus. It is a place of torment. It's a place of torment and national pain. It is separation from God. But it is also eternal torment. Have you ever burned your finger on a stove? Imagine that, but forever and ever, never ending. That is hell. Paul said this in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, and I say it today with boldness and confidence in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, and as, as it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. Romans is a great chapter, a great book, talking about why men and women do not trust in Jesus Christ and the finished work of the cross. Listen to these words out of Romans. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world and the things that have been made. So they are without excuse. So they are without excuse. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give him thanks. But they became futile in their thoughts. And their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became few fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man. Listen to this. This is why there's evil. For this reason, God gave them up to dishonorable passion. For their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature. And the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and consumed and were consumed with passion for one another, men committing shameless acts with men and receiving themselves the food penalty for their errors. And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God gave them, God gave them up to a debased mind to do what not ought to be done. They were filled with all manner of unrighteousness, evil, covetousness, malice. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, maliciousness. They are gossips, slanderers, haters of God insolent to parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless, though they knew, though they know, they know God's righteous decree that those who practice such things deserve to die, they 
did not only do them, but gave approval to those who practiced them. You see today, just like in the Old Testament, war to those who call evil good and who call good evil. Gay marriage is um, evil. It is evil. It's not even real. God created marriage. He created marriage. And it is between a man and a woman. You are a fornicator if you are in a gay relationship. You're a fornicator if you're not married. Plain and simple. Repent. Repent and trust in Jesus. He can solve your problems. He can wash away your sin. He can cure you of your addiction to sin. He can take away your shame. But what must I do to be saved? Trust in Jesus. Acknowledge the fact that you cannot save yourself and that you need Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is real. He came on this earth 2,000 years ago and died for the sins of the world. He died and was buried, but God, glory to God, God raised him from the dead to prove the fact that Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. Jesus is the only way to get to God because He is God. You must trust in Jesus for dying on the cross. You must repent of your sins. Repent and believe the gospel of Christ. Still sick. 
sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus Christ came and died. First of all, he was perfect. He is perfect. Jesus lived a sinless life. He became a man. He was fully man and fully God. We don't understand that, but it is true. Jesus came and lived a sinless life, a perfect life that we can never live. And he died on the cross. He was buried, but God raised him from the dead. If you trust in this, if you trust in this alone and turn from your wicked ways, God will save you from your sins. He will give you the Holy Spirit that will enable you to walk in His ways. I'm not saying you will stop sinning. You can never stop sinning as a child of God until we get to glory, until we get to heaven. But your sin is no, no longer counted against you as a child of God. You must repent and trust in Jesus. He died for you on the cross. Turn away from your self-righteousness and pride. Turn away from it and trust in the only one that can save your soul. It is Jesus. No other name above all names can save but the powerful name of Jesus Christ. You are either a child of God or you are a child of wrath, which is of the devil. The devil is a liar. He is a liar from the beginning and a murderer. There is no truth in the devil. Stop following the devil. He is going to send you to hell. Trust in Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He died. He was buried. But God raised him from the dead. No one. The work of God is this, 
to believe in who he sent. It is believing in Jesus. Your faith is what saves you, not your works. The Catholic Church is a false religion. It is an antichrist. The Pope is an antichrist. He is a liar. He is being used by the devil. Do you know why so many people love the Pope? Because he is worldly. He says, my righteousness is earning me to go to heaven. No, you make yourself to be God if you think your righteous works are doing anything for God. The Bible says, your good works are like filthy rags to God. I know a good person, a good sister in Christ, who is right now at the Vatican in Rome pleading with Catholics, pleading with Catholics to repent and trust in Jesus alone. She is bold as a lion, but the Bible says those who trust in Jesus, who have been born again by His Spirit, are as bold as lions. I commend her and I pray for her as I know she prays for me. God says, I believe in Isaiah, He says, Come and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Who can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. How precious is the blood that made me white as snow. No other name I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. That song is true. It's nothing but the blood. Nothing but having faith in Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for your sins. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes, whoever believes in him, will not perish, but have everlasting life. So we realize today that salvation comes by faith in Jesus, not by works. If you are trusting in anything today but the blood of Jesus, you are condemned. God bless you. The Bible says, Blessed are those who are reviled and persecuted in the name of Jesus. They hate me because I tell them the truth. But they don't hate me, they said. If they hated me, Jesus said, if they hated me, they would hate you because you speak with my words. Do you know how many times people called the cops on me? You know, if I was out here preaching Muhammad or Buddha or the Catholic Church or salvation, they would be coming up here and kissing my feet, I bet. But I preach that you are condemned in your sins, that you do not repent, turn from your wicked ways, and trust in the precious blood of Jesus, which was shed for you on the cross. Jesus came and died on the cross. He died so you might have life in his name. Jesus said this, he said, learn from me. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. Come and find rest for your souls. Jesus can give you rest. Are you struggling? Are you tired today? Jesus is the only way to have peace with God and the peace of God. Jesus came and died on the cross. He died over 2,000 years ago, but God raised him from the dead. He did not stay dead. 
God proved that his son was Jesus by raising him from the dead. Jesus can save you. Only Jesus can save you. Jesus loves you. People laugh at that. But the Bible says, the Bible says that the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But it is the power of God to those who believe, who are called by his name. The Bible says, the Bible says there are many called, but few are chosen. Jesus says, the road, the road to, to everlasting life is narrow and difficult. It's difficult, but the way to hell is broad. And there are many who go by the broad way. Go take the narrow path. Trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Trust in Jesus today. Only Jesus can save you from your sins. Trust in Jesus. Don't harden your hearts. Don't harden your hearts today. Trust in Jesus Christ. He came and died, but God raised him from the dead, and he is forever at the right hand of God, interceding for his saints. If you're praying to God today, but I have not repented and trusted alone in Jesus, God does not hear your prayers. He considers your thoughts even an abomination. You must trust in Jesus Christ alone. lead to hell. They are works-based. They deny Jesus Christ as God. They deny Him. In Islam, they said Jesus was just a prophet. He was a prophet, but He is also God. He died for the sins of the world, but God raised Him from the dead. You know Muhammad was probably... No, he is probably... Well, I won't get into that because I don't want to get shot. But God protects me. Jesus is the only way. Only by trusting in the finished work of the cross can you be saved. Turn from your wickedness. Turn from your fornication. If you are having sex out of your life, you You are breaking God's law. If you are practicing that, you are not saved. Because the Bible says those who practice lawlessness are not his, but those who practice righteousness are his. Jesus said to judge with righteous judgment. Some people use the Use the verse that, that Jesus said in Luke, 4, uh, Luke 15. They said, he says, judge not that you should not be judged. Keep reading that verse. Keep reading that paragraph. He says, do not judge with a hypocritical judgment. Why do you perceive the speck in your brother's eyes, but you do not see the plank in your own eyes? First, take out the plank of your own eye. Then, you'll be able to see clearly to take out the speck from your brother's eye. He, the devil loves to use the word of God out of context. He puts a little bit of truth, but he puts a whole lot of lies. Trust in Jesus Christ. He came and died on the cross for your sins. He came and died, but God raised him from the dead. We are justified by faith alone, in Christ alone. Jesus wishes no one to perish, but all to come to repentance. Jesus is the
looking for familiar spirits. I was looking for them, but God saved me from that. He told me that was wrong. We all, we all like sheep have got astray. Yes, everyone to our own ways. But thanks be to God, we can say, I once was lost, but now I'm found. Jesus can save you from your sins. He can save you from your shame. Trust in Jesus. Trust in the only one who can save you. I want to encourage Christians today, because I know not everyone listening is lost. The Spirit helps in our weakness. We do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Are you at a loss for words when you pray? Jesus already knows. I know I've had some nights where I didn't know what to pray. I was so ashamed of my sin, and sometimes the devil can tell you after you're saved that once you've sinned again, God doesn't want you anymore, but that's a lie. Jesus said that he would never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, just because you stumble and fall does not mean you have fallen from grace. Jesus, by his spirit, preserves you. He preserves you, and he will not let you stay down. your sins. Only He can save you. Only Jesus. By submitting to God, by repenting of your sins and trusting in Jesus Christ who died for you on the cross and was raised from the dead, can you be saved? He died for you. 
He doesn't want you to perish. He loves you. I love you. In Christ Jesus, he died for you on the cross, but God raised him from the dead. If you believe in that alone for salvation, he will save you from your sins. God bless you, sir. I pray you come to know Jesus Christ. He loves you so much. He loved you enough to die for you. He loved you enough to die while you were yet a sinner. Praise God. That's three people who've persecuted me today. Please repent and trust in Jesus. Turn away from your wickedness. Turn away from the sins you love. The reason people go to hell is, be is not because God rejected them. It's because they rejected God. Submit to the righteousness of God. He can save you. Jesus loves you so much. He loves you. He can save you from your sins if you would trust that He died for you. He died on the cross, but God raised Him from the dead. And He alone offers... Excuse me. He alone offers salvation. He can wipe away your sins and shame. He can set you free from the grips of death and sin. He can save you. Turn away from your fornication. Turn away from your idols. Turn away from those worthless things. The Bible says, the things which are seen are temporary, but the things that are not seen are eternal. We can't see God. We can't see Him right now. But one day, I tell you the truth, one day, every knee Jesus Christ is Lord. Everybody will bow. Even you, sir. Jesus loves you. He is the only way. The Bible says not to answer a fool according to his folly. He saved me 
from suicide in 2012. He saved me from hell. He saved me from homosexuality. He delivered me from that sin. He delivered me from uh, witchcraft. He delivered me from it. He delivered. He can deliver you from it too. Just cry out to Jesus. Say this in your heart. Jesus, I am a sinner. I have broken your law. I know there is no other way for me to be saved but by trusting in Jesus Christ, the perfect sacrifice, the Lamb who was slain. In Revelation, they, God said, He said, and they overcame Him. Who is Him? The devil. And they overcame Him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not let their life to the death. Do you know Christians are the most persecuted people group, religious group, in the entire world? All throughout history, that man said to look into a science book. Well, I tell him not only to look into the Bible, but look into the history books which have recorded that Christians have died more than any other religious group. And guess who? Most of those Christians were killed by false converts, by Catholics. Catholics are not Christians. They believe that works can save them. They add works to faith. They add their own righteousness to God's righteousness. Jesus can save you. I tell you the truth today. The only way to heaven to get to God is through Jesus. Jesus died on the cross. He died, but God raised him from the dead. If you would repent of your sin, repent of the things you love, which are sinful things, repent of your fornication, which is sleeping out of wedlock, repent of your idol worship, which can be your phone, which can be movies. You know, Marvel is so popular today. You know what? That's become an idol. Those movies show men being little gods. Pride is what fuels those movies. But Jesus said pride comes before a fall. Jesus said if your righteousness does not exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees, you will not see God. Well, first of all, the Pharisees were self-righteous. So basically, don't be a Pharisee. Don't be self-righteous. Don't think that your works can get you into heaven. Yes, own sin and fall short of the glory of God. All, all have sinned, including this person talking to you. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Are you being convicted today? Are you feeling guilty of your sin? I tell you that is the Holy Spirit knocking at your door of your heart. Just bow down or say in your heart right now, Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. I deserve hell. I deserve to die and go to hell, but you saved me, and I trust in you alone. I trust in Jesus Christ alone. If you put your trust in Jesus Christ this moment, he will save you. I promise you, he saved me. He saved me from suicide. He saved me. He saved the wretched, wretched, miserable sinner, me, and put and clothed me with his righteousness. He can clothe you with his righteousness right now if you would tell him you're sorry. Mean it in your heart. He loves you. Jesus died for you on the cross. Don't wait any longer to come to reconciliation with God. You can leave today and you can die in a car wreck. You can die of a heart attack, anything could kill you right now. Don't die in your sins. Trust in Jesus. He can save you. Trust in Jesus. He loves you. He died for you. Repent of your wickedness. Repent of it. And, and trust in Jesus. He loves you. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever so believes upon Him will not perish, but will come to everlasting life. Please, please, I beg you, repent, be reconciled to God. Be reconciled to God today. Trust 
in Jesus. He loves you. He loves you so much. Hi. Sam, thank you. God bless you. God bless her. See? She said God bless you. Thank you. Yes, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Who can make me whole again? Nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. See, the devil doesn't let you hear about Jesus. He wants you to think you are safe in your sins. He wants you to think you're safe in your sins and that you don't have to give up your sins in order to trust in Jesus. Repentance is turning from what you've always done to sin and turning to the only one who can save you and forgive you of your sins. Good works are a result of saving faith. They are not the reason you are saved. No man is justified by works. Only by faith in Jesus. Yes, God loves you. I love you. I pray today people have heard the gospel and they're either going to accept it or reject it. I pray they accept it because that is the only thing that matters is Jesus. That's the only thing. Only Jesus can save you from your sins. He came and died for your sins. But he was risen. He was raised on the third day. God raised him from the dead. God, Jesus said, you will know them their fruits. He also said you will know them by the love they show for one another. If you profess to know Jesus but you hate your brother in Christ, you might need to examine yourself to see if you have the faith. The Bible says to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. I thank God today for salvation because it is a free gift offered to all who believe. Everyone who believes. I, I adjure you, by the mercies of God, be reconciled to God. Be reconciled to Jesus. My heart hurts for this world for those who do not know Jesus Christ. I pray they come to know you, Jesus. I pray they do. Before it is too late. Yes, God, please save them. They don't know what they're doing, those who don't know you. They don't know what they're doing. Please open their eyes, Lord. I pray all this in Jesus Christ precious holy name. Amen. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to end it there stream. Okay. Love you guys.